are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports, and let's talk about two things, both involving Steve Nash. Steve Nash, of course, was once a great point guard uh, for the Phoenix Suns and Dallas Mavericks. He has become the new head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, of course, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are now playing there. And let's talk about the hire first, and then we're going to get to some utter lunacy from the media, namely Stephen A. Smith. Uh, he played 18 years in the NBA, Dallas Mavericks, Phoenix Suns, Los Angeles Lakers, eight-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, and led the league in assists five times. He retired from the NBA in the 2013-2014 season. Good God, I thought he'd been retired a lot longer than that. Okay, now here's the key, and this is probably why he got the job. After he retired, he became a consultant for the Golden State Warriors in 2015. He eventually formed a relationship with Kevin Durant, who is later now signed with the Nets. Um, I would say right offhand, and there were a couple of other statements there, but I would say the main reason Steve Nash got the job is A, his NBA experience, B, he's been a consultant for the last five years for an NBA team, and C, and probably the most important, he's got a relationship with one Kevin Durant, okay? One of the best players in the, in the game. He's been injured, but he's one of the best players in the game, but Kevin Durant sometimes has issues with confidence levels. Well, Steve Nash, if that's his if that's his dude, and they're tight, they're close, they believe Steve, Steve Nash can keep Kevin Durant properly motivated, that's a great hire. That is a great hire. Okay. Now, on to the absolute lunacy of the media, namely Stephen A. Smith, because Stephen A. said the following. Bam. But this ain't about him, what I'm about to say. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way around this. This is white privilege. This does not happen for a black man. No experience whatsoever on any level as a coach and you get the Brooklyn Nets job. I know that Kyrie and KD have both signed off on this. I know they both support this move. That's right. Now, Stephen A prior to this comment went on this rant about all the things that were pros about Steve Nash. And then all of a sudden he's like, but let's just skip to the punch and say, this is white privilege. And I'm like, you're you're an idiot. <laughs> you're you're a literal idiot. That's where we've gone with the leftist media now. Stephen A has joined the club, a guy that used to be on Fox News all the time, has joined the woke club from ESPN. Woke Center is in the house. First take is unwatchable with Max uh Kellerman and Stephen A. It's terrible. They're both super woke. I mean, they have single-handedly destroyed that show. And Stephen A. Smith making an irresponsible comment like this, saying that Steve Nash got this job because he is white. Why is it the leftist media has made everything about color? Everything has become about color. Not, not that Steve Nash played in the league 18 years. Not that he was an all-star how many times. Not that he uh, led the league in assists five times. Not that he's a two-time MVP. Not that he has a great relationship with Kevin Durant, who is going to be the core stud on the Nets. But Steve Nash got the job because he's white. And good God, the one thing you don't want to be in America right now is a straight white male. And if you're a Christian, oh, you're triply screwed. This is more of the media in the race for the most woke. Let me drop the juiciest soundbite. And this is lunacy. It is absolute lunacy. It, it just it makes me cringe as to where we've gotten in the last three or four years, and especially the last six months. When I, I mean, the, the damn wheels just fell off. 
and we can't even flintstone the car of common sense anymore there is no more common sense it is all about the color of your skin it's a dangerous precedent to have set in this country you got lawoke james that has destroyed the nba the nba just literally tanked their league over this black lives matter marxist movement putting all that crap on the court and then uh of course the names on the jersey of let's just call it what it is flat criminals okay nothing still nothing from lawoke or the nba on canon hennett on david dorn um you know, let's just not say anything. Let's let's not say anything about that because that doesn't fit the narrative. That doesn't fit the leftist narrative. And St- Steve Nash, a Hall of Fame point guard, lands a head coaching job, and of course, it's got to be because he's a white guy. Utter idiocy. Make sure you hit subscribe. Tell me what you think. Do you think it is as pathetic as I think it is that somebody with the credentials as a player and with the relationship that he's got with Steve uh, with uh, Kevin Kevin Durant that this has got to be about skin color? It's an irresponsible comment, if you ask me. But so many of these celebrities and athletes are making nothing but dangerous and irresponsible comments, and they've kept. This entire country worked into a lather over what? Skin color. And if you're like me, you're white, you're screwed. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Hit subscribe. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.